Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man. Sonic Riders. Ah, uh, another Mario Kart clone. Like, how many of them do we need? And you want to know what they all have in common? They all suck. Now, uh, I guess this one isn't really a Mario Kart clone. I mean, it's a futuristic hoverboard racing game, but it might as well be. And besides, it's still definitely another shitty Sonic game. But now, the birds. Why are there birds? Ugh, you know what? Why bother? I mean, they'll never be erased from existence, so I guess you might as well just accept them, right? Well, you can accept them, not me. I mean, why are there so many characters? All we need, or actually need dead, were Sonic and Tails, but now they suck too. They all suck. They can all go row a boat and fall down a waterfall and die. But you know what? You know what the best part about this game is? The, the gloves. I mean, look at those gloves. Those, those are some realistic gloves, man. Like, wow, you can see like every single strand. I'm impressed. That, that's the best part about the game, the gloves. But anyway, this is one of those games, you know one of those games you, you look at and you're just like, uh, you know, like why bother, right? This is one of those games, right here. This is, this is one of those, those games, it just, it just might as well not exist. So anyway, let's play this game. Ignore the cool sound effects. They're nothing but a lie. Now, I know you're looking at this and you're thinking, this doesn't look bad, but trust me, don't be deceived by the nice colorful graphics. It's garbage. The controls are abysmal. You keep hitting the walls, going all over the place, and sure, you move fast, but not fast enough for the wide and long racetracks. Also, collecting all the rings is nearly impossible because you can't maneuver fast enough to get them, and they come out of nowhere. There's nothing worse than missing an entire row of nice, shiny rings. Nothing. You know what's really annoying? That voice that keeps repeating itself. Thankfully, it's a hot chick's voice. Well, there you have it. Sonic Riders. It sucks. But, you want to know what the worst part about the game is? The absolute worst part? Ugh. 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 No, 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 oh, oh, man. There's a sequel! Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. Now, if there's no gravity, then how can they hoverboard? I mean, won't they just be, like, floating around and stuff? Never mind. But, now, the gloves, I mean, they're even more detailed now. Like, look, look at those gloves! Like, why are they so detailed? I'm serious, those are the most realistic, computer-animated gloves I have ever seen. In fact, you know what? I think to put more time into making those gloves look so realistic than into making the game good. I'm not joking. Anyway, let's check it out. Ignore the cool sound effects again. They're just another lie. Anyway, it's not much better or different than the original, but the graphics are definitely nicer. The motion-sensitive controls are interesting, as always, but lack precision, so they're just as bad as the analog controls of the first one, so you're gonna crash into all the walls and be all over the place. Oh, and those birds are back. Gotta love those damn birds! Well, that's pretty much just it. It sucks. It also might as well be just another Mario Kart clone, and it's just another crappy Sonic game. Well, there you have it. Two more shitty Sonic games to add to the growing pile of crap. Now, how long is it going to take before we get a good Sonic game? How long? Hopefully, Sonic Unleashed, this new upcoming Sonic game, will be good. I mean, I think they already fucked it up. I mean, come on. Werewolf Sonic? No. No. I mean... What are you going to do next? Turn Shadow into a fucking vampire? Ugh. Well, anyway, that's the end of this review, so long live the nerd, rest in peace Steve Irwin, cheerio!